what I'm learning. I, you know, I'm not completely surprised. <laughs> hey, listen, we're going to switch gears and talk, well, Eagles, a little bit of Eagles at mm -hmm. least. Every Eagles fan has a story, but few of them have a novel to back it up. Yeah, Matthew Quick found a healthy way to channel his love for and frustration <laughs> with the Philadelphia Eagles. He used it to write his debut novel called The Silver Linings Playbook. But the novel isn't just a bunch of football talk. No, it's the story of <laughs> grief, healing, and understanding of the human spirit. Well, hey, that sounds like football talk. <laughs> Please join us in welcoming the author of The Silver Linings Playbook, Matthew Quick. Hey, Matthew. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. So this is your debut no novel. Yes. You're a big Eagles fan. Did you always know that you were going to include the Eagles in your writings? Or how did this happen? You know, I, I've wanted to write this book for probably about 12 or 15 years. And it started out with an essay that I wrote about the Philadelphia Eagles and myself and my family mm -hmm. and relating. And it was kind of always in the back of my head. And, you know, it took me a while to get around to doing it. Now, is it true that it was actually sold as a movie manuscript before it was created into a book? Well, the book was optioned by the Weinstein Company. Uh -huh. And they bought the book er early uh, for the movie rights. And uh -huh. David O. Russell is working on the screenplay right now. That's so so cool! Yeah, How I'm exciting! Excited, yeah, very excited so, about that. So this was a quick deal for you? It was easy to get the book published? It wasn't easy. Uh, a lot of people passed on it, actually. There was a lot of editors that passed. It actually sold in Italy first. Mm. Um, and that's that's my best contract, the translation in, into Italian, which is kind of funny. So, you know, things happen quickly, but of course they didn't happen easily. And uh, there was a couple books that were objected before this one as well. So tell me about the story. If I, I, I love to read. I love stories about love, and I love stories about football, which is an interesting combination. Tell me about the story. Yeah, it's not really a football book per se. Yeah. There's a helmet on there, and you know, there's the Eagles and Hank Baskin are mentioned a lot. But it's about a guy who leaves a neural health facility in Baltimore mm -hmm. and comes home to live with his parents in the Philadelphia area. And he has this quirky theory that his life is a movie produced by God, mm -hmm. and that if he becomes a better man by working out and becoming kind, that his estranged wife will be returned to him. Hmm. Now, there's a lot of pain, a lot of grief in this. There is, and there's a lot of disillusionment as well, a lot of denial, and so it's, it's kind of a quirky, funny story, but there's a sadness undercutting it as well. But of course, he, he meets some new people that help him get through this, and you know, and he goes... And there's always a silver lining. That's true, yeah, and there is, a, there is a silver lining towards the end of the book, and I won't give it away, the spoiler book. So do the Eagles help him through this? Is this a good Eagles story? <laughs> well, you know, uh, as a Philadelphian, you know, every season's good and bad, right? And uh, he kind of becomes attached to the, the rookie that year. It takes place in 2006, Hank mm -hmm. Basket. Mm -hmm. And H Hank Basket's story is phenomenal as far as I'm concerned. He's an undrafted rookie. Uh, and I read an article once that he said that when uh, he was undrafted, he was very upset, but his high school coach told him you get 24 hours to be upset about something before you start working on a solution. Ooh, and in my like mind, it, you know, it was a beautiful philosophy. And, I, and right then I said, you know, I think Hank Baskett's a winner. He's an optimist. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote him into the book before he did anything. And, uh, you know, I, there's times when I thought maybe I should write him out, and we all know Hank Baskett's story is, is a beautiful story, so, so that kind of paid off. How did he feel about this? I'm sure you've talked to him about it. What was the conversation like? Actually, I haven't talked to no? Hank Baskett. Though. I'm going to talk to him tonight. Yeah, <laughs> so, has he tonight seen the book, him? though? He is in the book. He's not a character. Uh, my, my character, Pat Peoples, is mm -hmm. a huge Hank Baskett fan. So he kind of follows by watching the games, and he wears the 84 jersey. Did you send this book to Hank Baskett? Yeah, he has a copy. All he right. has a copy. So okay. we're doing a signing tonight, and uh, he's going to be doing the signing with me. So it'll be interesting to get his take. And yeah. do we have more books in the future? Yeah, I've already sold another book to uh, Little Brown, which will be coming out in 2009 in the fall. Look so. at you. I just so want to rub your elbow a little bit. <laughs> get whatever you've got. Congratulations. Well, there was a so tough much. time in there, too. I mean, you had to quit your job in order to get this this done. Yeah, I was a high school teacher at Haddonfield Memorial mm -hmm. High School for seven years, and uh, I just wasn't happy. I love my job, but it just wasn't what I wanted to do. And my wife said to me one night, you really got to chase your dream. And so I quit my job, sold my house, and I moved in with my in-laws in Massachusetts for three years. Wow. Love it. Which was rough, you know, not only living with the in-laws, but also, you know, having to deal with Red Sox Nation and the Oh, oh stop right there. Yeah. Yeah. Stop right there, Matthew. It was rough. It the was good news is time. Matthew has brought a copy of the Silver Linings Playbook for everyone in our studio audience. You can yes. stop by and see Matthew and Hank tonight at the Friends Select School at 6.30 this evening. All right, Hank Baskin, thank you so much. All right. We're back with more time right after this. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Hank Baskin. Hey, you want to get into all the fly stuff that goes on behind the scenes? Well, you know what to do, man. Check the website, NBC10.com slash 10, and you can see what goes on right here. But don't worry. We got more 10 shows coming up next right here on NBC.